I stand beneath the mystic moon, resignedly beneath the sky. The melancholy waters lie. I mourn not that the desolate are happier, sweet than I. But that you sorrow for my fate, who am a passerby. And has his strength failed him at length? He met a pilgrim shadow. Shadow said he, where can it be, this land of El Dorado? In 1809, Edgar Poe is born in Boston, USA. His mother dies and he is adopted by the John Allens and christened Edgar Allan Poe. In 1815, he goes to England with the Allens, but returns to the USA in 1820 and enters the University of Virginia, where he becomes engaged to Elma Royster, only to have the engagement broken off by her parents. In 1827, Edgar leaves university after a row with John Allen and enlists in the US Army. He is discharged from the army following the death of Mrs. Allen and begins a period of obscurity in New York and Baltimore. In 1833, John Allen dies, but does not mention Poe in his will. Poe becomes editor of the Southern Literary Messenger and publishes Benaris, Morella and Hans Fowl. And he marries his cousin, Virginia Clem. In 1841, Poe becomes editor of Graham's Magazine and publishes The Murders in the Rue Morgue, A Descent into the Maelstrom, Tales of the Grotesque and the Man of the Crowd. Still hoping for his own journal to be called the Stylus, he publishes Eleonora, The Oval Portrait, The Mask of the Red Death, and The Pit and the Pendulum. In the same year, he moves to New York, which is to be his home for the rest of his life, and publishes The Balloon Hoax, The Premature Burial, and The Oblong Box. Poe publishes The Raven, which causes an overnight sensation and becomes editor of the Broadway Journal. In 1847, after a harrowing illness, Virginia Poe dies on January 29th, leaving Poe despondent. In 1849, Poe has a romance with Mrs. Shelton, the married name of his ex-fiancée, Elmer Royster, and he publishes For Annie and El Dorado. On October the 7th, 1849, Edgar Allan Poe dies. I stand beneath the mystic moon, resignedly beneath the sky, 
the melancholy waters lie. I mourn not that the desolate are happier sweet than I, but that you sorrow for my fate, who am a passerby. And as his strength failed him at length, he met a pilgrim shadow. Shadow said he, what can it be? The land of El Dorado. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still, if bird or devil, by that heaven that bent above us, by that God we both adore, tell this soul with sorrow laden, if within the distant Aden it shall clasp a sainted maiden, whom the angels name Lenore, clasp a rare and radiant maiden, whom the angels name Lenore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Be that word our sign of parting. Bird or fiend, I shrieked up starting. Get thee back into the tempest and the night's plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as a token of that lie thy soul has spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken. Quit the bust above my door. Take thy beak from out my heart. And take thy form from off my door. Quoth the raven, nevermore. And the raven, never flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting on the pallid bust of Pallas just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming. And the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadow on the floor. And my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted. Never more. <laughs>